Greetings and welcome back to AG2. Thank you for following along as we go through this 10 HR Commandments of Excel. Previously we covered freezing the top panes in the top row and the shortcut keys. Well today we're going to cover sorting and filtering. And what I mean by sorting and filtering is you may have a requirement where you need to sort things alphabetically or by company or by you know expired date or whatever and we're going to show you some techniques to do that and again this is totally geared toward the beginner this is not all inclusive we will go into an intermediate phase immediately after we finish these 10 so beginning with sorting and filtering I have a spreadsheet here and I'm just gonna hit control A to select all and initially starting out it may be on this home tab but if you go to this data tab you'll see a sort here if you use this sort it will sort by the first column on the far left which is not what necessarily we want we may want to sort this by the name so again I'm going to select all choose a sort and the first thing I want to do here is tell it that my data has headers because if I don't then it's going to show column A B C D which it'll still work I just have to tell it that column C is what I want to sort by but if you select my data has headers then it will figure out what columns you have and allow you to select them so I want to select sort by name and I want to sort from A to Z and once it processes it now everybody is sorted from A to Z maybe you don't want them just necessarily A to Z maybe I want them by company so I want to sort them by company and then within the company you can add a second layer to sort by once the companies are straight and then I can sort them by name from A to Z and what I should get and again this is just a, sing a single battalion is I'm getting everybody in alpha company and then they're in alphabetical order from Alpha Company. And if I scroll down, oops. Once I get down to Bravo Company, I should see that they started over again, and it did. Bravo Company started at A again. So going back to the top. I'm going to sort these one more time. I want to sort them by MOS. Let's sort them by MOS. And I'm going to delete a level and change name to MOS. And I have just sorted them 02 Alpha, 11 Alpha through 11 Bravo. So that's sorting in a nutshell. The next thing I want to get into is filtering and under the data tab you have this filter here and once you select filter you'll get these little tabs amongst each column and I can still sort from A to Z by last name I can unselect and say hey I just want Adams once I check them then now it just filters for Adams so I can go here and select clear. I can filter for just a company. If I want to look at Delta Company, I can filter for everybody in Delta Company very quickly. I'm going to clear that also. If I want to filter by MOS, I'm looking for all of the 11 Charlies in the units or 19 Delta. So you can select multiple and I will get 11 Charlies 19 Deltas pretty simple straightforward if I go over here and Excel figures out that I have a date here I can filter by date I can also sort by oldest to newest newest to oldest but I can sort by date and you've got date filters here next month this month last year next year all dates in period I can immediately filter for everybody whose date of birth is in January and I've got January because if you sort them from A to Z on a date you'll get the oldest person first and 
the youngest person last. So it's really got some neat features. I can also go in here and search and type in, let's say 1992, and anybody that had a date of birth in 1992 is immediately filtered or extracted into my information. So again, sorting and filtering can be very powerful for minimizing the amount of records that you have on your spreadsheet or just getting down to a to the so what of some information that you pulled out of our HR system. Thank you for following. Have a great day.